Well, what's poppin and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman. I got some boys here with me today. We got Yak Pack. We got fishing with Norm. Hello. And today we are making Lego lures. I got a big old box of Legos right here. There's a, just a ton of stuff inside, like all kinds of colors, all kinds of unique little pieces to make some cool baits out of potentially. So we're just gonna try to get creative. We're all gonna sit down and we're gonna all make our own lure and see what we can come up with. Norm, do you have any idea what you might uh, try to make today? The biggest fish I can make, like this big, like bigger than the fish we're gonna catch. <laughs> That's my plan. I'm using all the Legos and you guys get like one each. You gonna try to catch a Goliath grouper? No, nah, I probably should make a Cinco and take like one little Lego piece. <laughs> yeah, Pack, you wanna dive in there and tell us what you might? I'll tell you what I'm gonna make. We are in South Florida. The land of alligators. I'm making an alligator. So for me, I'm not quite sure what I want to make yet. I'm just going to kind of mess around with the Legos. But in the past, for Noah's channel, I made a Lego shark. We made a Lego crankbait that actually swam. And then in the past, the first time I ever did this, I just made like a little popper, a little crawfish, things like that. So I'm going to teach these boys the ropes on exactly how to do it, how to put these together after we actually kind of come up with a design to make it into a lure. And I'm going to teach y'all how to do it as well if you want to do it at home. So let's go ahead and dive in and make us some Lego lures. Guys, what I think I've decided what I'm gonna do is make like a crawfish with the red Legos here. How am I gonna do it? I couldn't tell you, but we're just gonna let creativity take over. Hmm. Dang, bro, it's actually gonna be harder than I thought it was gonna be. Dude, what the, how the heck am I even gonna do this? You gotta get creative, man. I know. All right, this is gonna be his, this is gonna be his main frame. I need the googly eyes. Look at what we got so far. Look at this. <laughs> oh, TJ, oh. that's looking good. Yes, sir. Look, and it's got the little the. the... Oh, hold up a sec. You got a whole instruction manual no, over here? No, I don't. What? What? <laughs> TJ, what's behind your back? Nothing. What's behind? Dude, there's an alligator <laughs> instructions, <laughs> bro. Well, the boys have gotten started, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna get started with all these blue pieces. I might try to make some kind of like fish lure. I might, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of dive in. I might make like an octopus, a squid, a fish. I'm just gonna kind of let my creativity take control and see what happens. So let's go ahead and bust into this thing. So the first thing you wanna do when you're making Lego lures, guys, I don't know if anyone has done this a different way and I've never seen anyone else make them besides me. But basically, I start with just making a design. Just literally play with Legos until I kind of come up with some kind of creature or whatever I think might get bit by something in the water. So that's the first thing I'm about to do, and I'll just show you all some updates along the way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> well, you got Norm. Wait, Dude. Norm. Dude, no, that's hey, a reindeer. No peeking until I'm done. It's like a reindeer. Look at what, my... what is that? You cheated. You used I did manual. cheat. I did cheat. So but that now, thing is looking boss. I know. That thing actually uh, looks really cool. It does, though, right? It looks cooler. <laughs> Guys, it's look at that crawfish right there. Hold this up. This looks like a slug. Hold up. So, <laughs> we created a new species right here. Like, what here. are these eyes? <laughs> like, Dude, all right. So, here it is. We got the eyes. Super realistic, guys. Am I right? And then right here, he just kind of has like some eyes that are spread apart. Gonna get those fish really angry. And I actually put a piece here so I could do that. Very creative of me. <laughs> these are his legs right here, these little brown pieces. So he's got his little claws right here, but I don't want them to be too big because we don't want to scare the fish away. So he's got little baby claws. So they're not too intimidating, but it looks real. And then we have his tail. So I've started to try to make a little squid right here. The biggest thing for me right now is trying to like find a piece to change the angle of these little tentacle things. And when you're trying to play with Legos, I'm sure a lot of y'all know when y'all have played with them in the past, or if you still play with them, there's always that like one piece that you can't find, and that is what's going on for me right now. I'm trying to find the piece that I need. And just when I lost hope, I finally found it, the piece I needed. This little sucker is going to make, oh, 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 oh God. Got heart. butter fingers. This little piece right here is going to make my squid come alive. We got Legos all over the place. We've been making a mess, trying to come up with the best creations that we can. But I think we all have a final product for us today. TJ, do you wanna show the audience what you've made today? Let's go ahead and get this out of life so you guys can make fun of this. There's a ghost right here that I wanted to make, okay? There's a ghost. That's how it turned out. We're not gonna talk about it. This is supposed to be a shrimp we're not gonna talk about this one either. <laughs> this is uh, this is my my prize creation, and yes, I use the instructions to get that done. I know you didn't come up with it. But <laughs> it's gonna get much though. I, I want to see it get eight, bro. It's, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to use all three of those. All right, Norm, what did your right, genius little mind come up with? So, I'm keeping it plain and simple. You know, I figure, don't overthink it. The fish aren't gonna overthink it. Got a crawfish, and he just has basic 
body parts on here. He has his body, of course. <laughs> what is this? Tail, claws, <laughs> eyes. It looks like Mr. Krabs. Yeah, I mean, it's just <laughs> simple and easy. All right. <laughs> and I figured, like, make something that doesn't even look like anything, and if I catch a fish on it, it just makes it cooler. And that brings it to me. I want to show y'all what I made. I tried to go above and beyond for y'all, tried to make something really cool, unique. I didn't use any instructions like this fool behind the <laughs> camera right here. But I have made a squid. I found that piece that I showed y'all earlier, this little white piece that basically has, like, all these little snap-on parts so I was actually able to make movable tentacles right here almost like a skirt bait or like a spinner bait or something like that but now it is time to show y'all exactly how to take this from Lego just little creation into an actual lure so you can go get Legos at home and do this if you wanted to with your friends with your kids or whoever you might want to make Lego lures with so let's go ahead and jump into that next step so we're gonna need a few things to make this happen so one we're gonna need some braided line that's exactly what you want I would use probably like at least 30 pound test and then you're gonna need to find some treble hooks and then I'm gonna need something to tie off to that means I need to use a split ring to tie off to so let me find a good size one for me to use so this is basically everything you're gonna need to make it happen a little split ring a hook some grill glue some line and then your Lego creation itself so first off you make it into a Lego creation and then you need to remember exactly how you put it together so this one is really simple because you're gonna need to feed this line through and then glue all these Lego pieces together every single one of them has to be glued or the second you start throwing this in the water and it actually gets attacked by fish it's gonna fall apart and you're not gonna be happy because you spent so much time making a beautiful little Lego lure or you so, could use the directions and take like 30 seconds oh yeah or yeah you, you could do that as well <laughs> But I spent a lot of time making this beautiful little piece of art, so let's go ahead and take this apart one piece at a time. Just remember exactly how it went together, and I need to find a way to feed this line through there. That is exactly where I need to feed that line through, so I'm going to cut off a nice little piece of line, snip, and we're going to feed that through our little base because that's where the hook's going to be coming out and then we're going to tie that off to the hook so now i got my hook tied on there i got my line threaded through exactly where i want this thing to hang and now it's time to actually make this thing come alive so you need some super glue and this is where it's really important to remember exactly how you put it together so you're going to have to glue every single little piece back together so there is it like that we're going to take this lego piece right there and put it on this line needs to be threaded between all these Legos. So you need to like a little maze system for this line to run through. And what I like to do to add some like structural integrity to this thing is I like to have the Legos go opposite directions if they're like ones that are a little small and not super sturdy on their own. So that makes it stay a little bit stronger together as you kind of build this Lego lure up. So I got this line all the way through and all these pieces are glued up to where this is actually going to be tied off to my line. So now it's time to find a tie off point and we're going to make that with a little split ring. So it's almost complete. I got the split ring on there. I want you all to see that. It's tied on there super good, so it's not going anywhere. Here it is, guys, the final product. All of it's glued together. We got our hook. We have our line holding it on there. We even have our little split ring to tie off. I have no doubt in my mind that we're gonna be able to get a fish to hammer this thing. This just looks too good. Now I wanna show y'all exactly what we all made, because all these boys, we made some really cool lures. TJ, you got a... Something in your mouth? You, Sorry. Could you not resist biting it yourself? Couldn't. Tell us about it. Masterpiece. Okay, check it out. I copied what Lego told me to do, but it looks really cool. <laughs> All right, Norm, what you got? Let's see what you've made. All right, so we made a couple upgrades to this thing, guys. Now it has working claws. I don't want to bend them too much. I don't want to break them off, but we do have this super glued on there. And guys, this is where the line's going to be tied off right here. It's going to be just hopping through the water, little crawfish. I don't know, guys. I think this is going to be super, super cool. And I like how this turned out just like off the top. Guys, I'm telling you, Fletcher is super creative with these Legos, and it makes it made me feel like I had to do better with my, uh, with my crawfish here. So now that we all have our lures, it is time to go catch a fish on one of these baits. Hopefully we get one on all of them. But before we do that, I want y'all to vote down in the comment section below. Let us know which lure you like the best, which one you think is like the most aesthetically pleasing. Also, let us know which one you think is the most likely to catch a fish, and which one is just the worst overall. Drop a comment down below. Let us know for all three of those can't things. Wait, can't wait for them to say which one's the <laughs> worst. You guys, you guys aren't going to hurt my feelings. I already know. 
<laughs> yeah, it won't hurt my feelings, but if somebody says that mine's the best, I will feel very blessed and I will make sure to come like and comment on your comment. One last thing before we put these lures to the test, if this video can get 750 likes, that's right, 750 likes, I will pick one of the comments down below to give away all three of these handcrafted Lego lures by all your favorite YouTubers here. So let's go ahead and catch a fish. I wanna check out the action on this thing. Let's put it in here and see what it does. See that guys in the water? Ooh, that looks so good. It looks like, it almost looks like a tube, too. Like it's like a squid yeah, and a tube in one. It's like a big blue tube squid looking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no doubt in my mind a fish is gonna smack this thing. This is actually my first time fishing for peacock bass. That is what we're targeting today. So if I catch a fish on this Lego lure today, that will be my first ever peacock and it'll be caught on a Lego lure. That is insane. So let's go ahead and jump into it. TJ, what do you, what no, you not got? Too close, not too close, not too close. There's oh, two okay. right here. Those okay. are the you're gonna eat. They, oh. Bro, faster than any large mouth you've ever caught. Ooh. Faster than any large mouth you've ever caught. Maybe the crawfish is the move, boys. Maybe <laughs> you underestimated my crawfish Maybe I made. Maybe needs to get the crawl out. Yeah. The crawl may be the, the crawl really may be the move. Maybe the uglier the better. <laughs> Alright, that didn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> so while I love my aesthetic design of my squid right here, my appendages right here, all these little tentacles are getting super in the way of this hook and these fish are actually trying to bite it. They keep just like missing it. So I'm going to take the big ones off, I'll leave the little ones. That way there's still a little appendage action and this thing is exposed enough that these fish can actually get a bite on this thing. There's our new and improved squid. This is not as aesthetically pleasing, but it should be more functional and hopefully get the job done. Let's get right back to these peas. Yeah, dude, that's gonna work right there. Oh, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get him. Squid's oh, about, oh, got him. squid got eight. Oh, oh he no. came off. Awesome. I we knew you him. were about to hook one right there, dude. Dude, he ripped off like three of my little <laughs> things. They're aggressive, bro. Oh my gosh. Let's get this right back in there. Oh, we ate it. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't let him, don't let him. I'm sitting on this fish right now. <laughs> Grab her mouth. Let me pull her right out of your butt real quick. What is going on right here? <laughs> well, my Lego lure did not stand the test of the peacock's fury absolutely annihilated this thing and took off all my appendages <laughs> the ones that at least were left that i didn't take off but that is a great little fish this is my first peacock ever and i can't believe i caught it on a lego lure that is insane guys but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video huge shout out to yak pack huge shout out to norn behind the camera hey, Make sure everybody go check out their channels if you enjoyed this video if you aren't already go ahead and subscribe and smash that like button and as always fast passion peace out